Natalia Bayona knows a thing or two about tourism. So is it back and beating pre-pandemic levels, as numbers suggest? You're absolutely right. Our projections uh, say that maybe we will grow two or three points more uh, if we compare 2019 and nowadays. Tourism is responsible for 8% of the world's carbon. What is the United Nations doing to try and, you know, bring that industry to a more, make it greener? Here in UN Tourism, we have uh, a strong focus on green investments. To have um, hotels with renewable energies, um, using the community art, to create all the designs inside uh, any infrastructure, to create uh, smart airports with new technologies that can, of course, reduce the emissions and that can be more responsible at the end of the day. How would you describe your, your relationship with China? Uh, I love China. I love, uh, in a personal way, uh, I'm a very disciplined person. I am honored to be the first international honorary professor in the Beijing International Studies University. So, I love tea, I'm a tea lover. I'm Colombian, but I have to say that I love tea more than coffee. So that's uh, one of my passions. What, which one's your favorite tea? Uh, mine is oolong. <laughs> mine, uh, I could say red tea, but of course white tea as well. So that calms me a little bit when I am <laughs> stressed. In October marks the 75 years of the PRC, the People's Republic of China. From a tourism point of view, I mean, it's an incredible transformation that we've seen over that period of time. How would you put that into context from the perspective of tourism? It's absolutely incredible if you can talk about the history of China from 75 years from now. Uh, I have to say that when you go there, you always see something new. It's incredible, but it's a country that is always innovating. You have seen that mixture between modernity and, of course, tradition. How important is China to global tourism? China is really important. First of all, I, r I already mentioned, top investor in the world when it comes to infrastructure, hotel infrastructure, and business development. Second of all, when it comes to tourists, they are the ones that spend the most. So 196 billion expenditure uh, only from tourists chi from China all around the globe. So it helps us as well to promote and to increase GDP among all the countries. Give us an idea of the, the importance of tourism uh, in terms of understanding each other, people-to-people -people exchanges. Tourism doesn't understand about borders. Tourism doesn't understand about um, uh, wars, about tensions. Tourism is about mutual understanding. Tourism is about openness. It's about bringing new cultures together. That's the magic of tourism.